for short. Hey everybody, I'm just testing, making sure I've got everything set up correctly, so. All right, perfect. So, uh, Brett Brennan here, obviously we're here at home, uh, social distancing, just not from each other. Yes. Uh, it really is this is an ever evolving um piece that we're in right yeah. with what's going on with coronavirus real estate we're both getting a lot of questions from uh clients from friends from family as to what's going on what is it that we're seeing what's happening can we still buy and sell homes uh brenna's role with the title company land title is really got her on the forefront as uh, I was on a webinar earlier about the coronavirus talking about the office really talking about how the title company <clears throat> excuse me is on um, uh, kind of the crux of a lot of this I mean there's so much that's happening that relies on you guys so uh, for those of you that don't know Brenna uh, the wonderful Brenna my wife is a sales rep with land title Hello. Um, so first, I just, I've been hearing a lot and seeing a lot about, can we still close real estate transactions? And I want uh, my clients, my friends, my family, everybody to know what it is specifically that Land Title is doing to make sure that people have options to close how they want to close. Yeah. Um, so again, hello and thank you for having me. Um, it has been... A pretty hectic week but it's been pretty incredible to see the real estate community on the whole really adapt um, to these new things and become very uh, I can't think of the words but adaptation is a big one um, so as of right now I mean we have the stay-at-home orders in place but title companies are considered an essential business because we're part of that financial banking industry so the short answer, yes, we can close your transactions um, and we are open for business. Uh, with that being said, we take it very seriously um, to maintain the social distancing rules and regulations as well as doing everything in our power to keep the community as safe as possible. So um, we are actually moving to curbside closings um, starting in April, which is totally weird, but it's actually working out pretty well. So um, we have the closers talk to the clients and the agent beforehand, go over all the documents so they still get that piece of it. Um, and then we're really utilizing e-signatures for everything that doesn't have to be notarized because right now in Colorado, um, we can't do e-notaries, but we're hoping any hour, any day that that changes. But we're trying to utilize, um, much like DocuSign, if you you know you do for your contracts and different stuff like that, we can sign a lot of those documents, um, e-signature, so you don't have the full closing packet in your car. So we try to make yeah. it as easy um, as possible, but you know still making it safe for people. So uh, most of those curbside closings are just taking you know a couple minutes, which is really great, um, and we've gotten pretty good feedback on that. Um, so we are moving away from in-office closings just to further um, cut down on unnecessary traffic, even in our lobbies as people are waiting. Um, because at least right now, we're still closing. Things are still happening. Um, we'll touch on it a little bit later, I think, about showings are definitely down. Um, but right now, as far as closings and, and things going under contracts, we're it's business is still happening. Um, very careful not to say business as usual because it's <laughs> anything but that. Anything but usual, anything for sure. Anything but usual. Um, and we're taking everything into an account and you know working long hours to make sure that we're doing what's best for the clients and the customers and that changes constantly. Yeah, I think the one thing that we're seeing right now for sure is that it's not just a day-to-day -day things are changing. It's yeah. really hour by hour and minute by minute. Uh, what's really been great to see is the president of the company, the president of Land Title, has been working diligently to uh, to try to make a completely contact-free closing, if yeah. you want, to get some legislation change that allows 
e-signature for the notary piece. Um, and I know there's new technology that you guys have that's proprietary and new technology that you've partnered with. One for uh, the e-signatures and then the other for collecting earnest money so that clients don't even have to go to the title company to drop off earnest money. They can do it remotely. Yeah, so the e-signatures we do through our system so you're, you're still safe because obviously title companies, we're dealing with a lot of really sensitive information. So that's very important to us. Um, the, we are partnering with Earnest, which is an app, um, which we don't own, obviously. Um, but we are utilizing their services to help people, again, not have to come in. So it's kind of like a Venmo. Um, your agent has the Earnest app, and then they request the funds from you. Um, so that's been working really, working really well. At some of those higher earnest money, you still do have to do the wiring, um, but it's really cut down on traffic, and I think it's one of those things, the innovation, uh, that we'll see even after we're on the other side of this. Yeah. Um, and you know, you mentioned John, our president. He's fantastic, obviously, um, and it really has been the entire real estate community pushing for this bill. So land title, obviously, you know, we we've, we've been pushing for this for a long time, but again, the real estate community. People are calling the senators. People are getting involved. So it's it's really nice to see everyone come together, regardless of company or you know what exactly your role is. So we're all pushing for that same goal. And as soon as we get it, we're all just going to jump for joy and probably have a virtual happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> virtual happy hour for sure. Um, so what, what we are seeing and what I'm getting questions on on real estate is, are buyers still out looking at homes? Um, and looking at the traffic, and I'm gonna show this, so if I look off to the side, it's because I'm looking at my computer, I'm gonna uh, upload some pictures here that I've taken um, as it comes to some data, because I'm numbers driven and I wanna know what's happening. Um, over the last week, uh, and I just pulled the, the showing traffic for the city of Denver because I figured it's a good litmus test. Uh, people are still going out and looking at homes now, over the last 24 hours, if people are supposed to be on quarantine, is that changing? The answer is yes. How is this uh, COVID-19 and coronavirus affecting real estate? Uh, or is it? The answer is yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, how it's affecting, how long it's going to affect, the ultimate impact, I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, yeah. You know, I just don't know. So right now, what I'm telling a lot of clients is here's the data that I have right now. Here's what we have. Uh, I don't know what's coming around the corner. So, um, what are what are kind of the most common questions that you're getting? Kind of the same questions. Obviously, um, we would all like to have a crystal ball, but we've been pulling a lot of stats, much like um, you're going to show here. Is um, showings are down, and they're down. I mean, about half of even what they were last week. Uh, but I think some of it is obviously. Social distancing is working and people are following the rules, so that's great. Um, but you're seeing less people just like, you know, in the real estate world, the looky-loos, the people that are just like, oh, it's nice outside, let's go look at the houses, you know, let's go see, oh, this is a beautiful house that maybe we never really could buy, but we're going to go look at it. So I think the first thing to happen is the pool of buyers definitely got smaller, but they also got much more serious. Um, because if you are buying or selling a home right now, it's probably not just because it's a whim. It's probably because you have to. Um, and that's something that we take very seriously that, you know, real estate title, we are all helping people with the biggest financial transaction a lot of times in their lives. Huh. And sometimes people really need to move for one reason or the other, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and that's why we're taking this all so seriously. Um, and, and powering through to continue to work even with the state of, of the world right now. Um, but listings are down a little bit, but we're still seeing stuff come in. So, you know, it'll be hard to see the exact impact until we're probably through it. And then it'll be interesting to see, you know, how it, it revamps, yeah. but obviously the leading indicator is those showings um, and they are down but again with the innovation it's been pretty incredible that people are doing virtual showings and they're using Matterport um, so is it the right time for everyone to buy a home well no it's never the right time for everyone but there are still really great ways to buy and sell right now even though it's not normal yeah I think for the folks that have to buy and sell right the uh 
uh, my lease is up or I just transferred in, I'm about to be homeless, there's still the ability to make these transactions happen. Yeah. Uh, and for those who would rather sit on uh, the sideline and wait and see, that's still an option as well. So some of the questions that we got leading up to the live video, um, you know, in general, will COVID-19 have an effect on real estate? Uh, and is there still movement in the market? Um, yes, absolutely. It's going to have an impact. I think anytime we see a large number of people losing income, uh, that has a longer term impact. Now, hopefully the loss of income is more temporary. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case for everybody, unfortunately. And I, again, no crystal ball, just my opinion. Yeah. Um, but anytime people are losing income, losing jobs, that ultimately affects because people have to be able to buy. Um, so the type of movement that we're seeing is that serious buyers, and when I say serious, I mean, they need to buy a house. Um, you know, they've outgrown the current house that they're in or folks that need to sell, um, you know, whether that be a divorce situation or somebody passed away, some things are still going to happen life-wise for the folks that need to sell real estate still going to happen. So, and money's still cheap. It, it, absolutely. The, the interest rates, even though they've been bouncing all over the place, yeah. Yep. Um, are still historical lows. So they're still under 4% last I heard. And uh, that may have changed this morning, may changed about two minutes ago. Um, like I said, my, my lender friends are, uh, are you know, putting up graphs that are kind of comical on that with yeah. it just bouncing all over the place. So, um, you know, another question that we got is, uh, you know, do we put our house on the market or do we wait until this is all over? Uh, my two cents on that, and I'd like to hear your input, is uh, I don't know what two weeks is going to bring. I don't know what you know tomorrow is going to bring as far as what it looks like. I know what it is today, um, and I think that's an individual case by case. Yeah. I think if you are more comfortable not having people through your uh, your property uh, who may or may not be sick, well, that's an option for you. If uh, you're comfortable with uh, cleaning methods that you have and, and limiting the people that come through potentially, uh, or if you don't have to be there after the showings, uh, maybe it makes more sense to be able to list. If the property's vacant and empty, maybe that's an easier decision for you. But um, I think it's an individual case-by-case -case basis based on your needs, your individual situation. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with you. I think communication in our industry is always important, and right now it's imperative because there's no two situations that are the same. So to just say, is right now a good time to buy or sell? Well, what's your situation? What are your expectations? What's your timeline? What's your comfortability? What is your, you know, do you have high risk individuals living with you or that you are connected with? Those are all questions that you have to consider with your family, talk to your agent about. Um, and then from, you know, the title side, we, we can still close your home. So that should be comfortable comforting yeah. um and there's new things coming out there's new amendments coming out in the contracts to protect people but again it's not it's not a blanket statement it's not one size fits all which is real estate in general it's yeah. just really being heightened right now yeah. so um i've been having more conversations with more people than i think i ever have um and it's just because it's constantly changing and we're brainstorming together and we're coming up with new normals for right now and maybe hopefully some new great things that come out of this for for the future. I mean, hopefully if there is a silver lining from all of this, it's some of the technology or the things that may come about from it. Yeah. Um, but obviously this is a serious deal. People's uh, health and lives, unfortunately, are being lost. Uh, so what I've seen is that land title, uh, a lot of the lenders that I know, a lot of the industry partners are taking this so very serious because of the magnitude of the situation that it's not just, uh, hey, this is business as usual. How do we skirt around it? It's how do we protect our people first? And then how do we ensure that business can continue? Um, so another question that we got was, you know, have you heard about anything about Dora shutting down title and appraisal services? Um, title has pretty much been an essential or critical business this whole time going through. Yes. Um, Real estate transactions have not. In fact, when it was, um, as the counties were shutting down, real estate was not included in that. Uh, a push from the Colorado Association of Realtors got that included. And then last night when uh, Polis 
shut down the entire state. Originally, real estate was not on that list. Uh, this morning when I woke up, not on that list. It's like, okay, well, I can't go to the office. I'm going to have to learn how to work from home, which admittedly I am terrible at doing. Yeah. Um, uh, a couple hours later, we're now back on that list. So as of right now, uh, appraisers can still go, inspectors potentially still going. Um, but again, that may change at any one moment. And I'm, I'm kind of under the impression that it's up to your definition or your interpretations uh, as far as what's included in real estate transaction. Yeah, it's a little bit ambiguous. Obviously, from a title side, we can't advise. So we definitely say... Uh, reach out to your managing brokers or your attorneys and get clarification on that. Um, I think, again, just to drive the point home, even if you're on the essential list, it's not just a free-for-all. Right. So land title is an essential business, but we are sending as many people home as we can to work from home, and we're practicing social distancing, and you know we don't have cookies available, and we're having individual pens and everything. So... You know, I've heard a lot of advice to the agents, you know, don't have the open houses, maybe don't do overlapping showings, um, one in, one out kind of thing. So on the list or not, just realize that the state we're in, make good choices for us, make good choices for the industry um, and for your clients. Well, from a safety standpoint, it may not make sense to be going out and taking a look at properties right now. It may not make sense to list your home right now. Um if it has to be done, right, we absolutely can. And I think for all of us, we're going to maintain and, and follow what it is with the guidelines. And I think that's an important thing. Uh, the faster that we can get through this uh, and as healthy as we can get through this, the stronger we'll be on the other side of it. So um, is there anything else that uh, that you're hearing that you want to know uh, or, or you want you know, the, the, the Facebook world to know? Yeah, you know, I think just... Um, be kind to people in general, but also don't be afraid to ask the questions and to reach out. We want the questions. We would rather you ask. We would rather know what your situation is and try to help you and just know it might be a dead end, but it might not. Like we have solutions and we're communicating them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But again, not one size fits all. So if you're really nervous about something, call your agent. If you're an agent and you have questions, call your title company, call your lenders, call your managing brokers, whatever, because we, I mean, I have been singing, we're all in this together from <laughs> high school musical all week. And, but it's true. We are. And it's not awesome and it's stressful, but we are all in this together. And I think that's one of the great things that has come from this is we're all really rallying together to help each other, help our business, help our economy, um, and help the people that we all serve. Yeah. You know, on a, on a personal note, right. I know Brent and I were very passionate about our people, right. Yeah. And, and we're very caring individuals. We want to know, right. If somebody needs something, if somebody needs help, whether we can help them directly or we have a connection to make, yeah. uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. We want to be able to help where we need help, uh, or where people need help. Uh, that's important to us because of this community that we're in feels like it got a lot smaller all of a sudden. It feels like it got a lot tighter. Yeah. So, um, so that's the silver lining. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, really appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, again, what we know right now may change in an hour, may change tomorrow. Uh, like Colorado weather. <laughs> <laughs> so be safe. Uh, make sure you protect your people, stay healthy. If you have specific real estate questions about what the market's doing, what we're seeing, what technology is allowing us to do to be able to move forward, don't hesitate to reach out and we can talk about the individual, the specific uh, that you have that you need. So yep. um, again, want to thank Brenna for donating her time. Uh, she can't get away as she's in the same house. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, B. I, I really appreciate it. All right. So y'all stay safe and uh, we'll connect with you again here soon. Thanks, guys. See you soon.